Hello everyone. Today we are going to do some improvements to the flashbang effect that we are, that we have worked on. So as you can see here, you can see some double image effect after throwing the flashbang, and it fades away. Right. See. So that's what I'm going to work on today. How to get this double image effect and how to dynamically make it fade out at the end of the effect. Alright, let's see how to do this today. And this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons. Thank you very much for your support. Okay, so to implement the double vision effect, we have to use a post process material. Let's name this M. PP Flash Bank. <coughs> so here, material domain should be post process, and this becomes black because we haven't you given any inputs into the MSU color. Okay, so okay, let's get scene texture. and post process input if i directly insert this this is what we see mm. so here what we see is uh, the normal image that is uh, going to render it into the screen so here if i add the uh, mm, screen position To this one nothing changes but if I add something to this this uh, you will see some offset one is too much let me make it to see now it has some offset here so now uh, if I add a sign input to this We need an input here, so as the input, if I directly give the pixel position, nothing is changing. But if I add time into this, Because time is a variable value. You see, this is some sort of oscillating. And then, if I multiply this effect with a very small value, let's say 0.2, it's like this. Uh, here uh, let's clamp this if it is zero if the bin is zero then it will go to the original location if I make it point two for example it never goes to the original location that means it will always have uh, an offset here if I make the period 2 this effect happens so yeah this was this is the look I was 
looking for actually uh, now if you want to increase the effect you can have like change these parameters but even if you don't have these parameters you will have the effect see but I kind of like this way okay so if you want to slow down oh sorry this should be point you can do this so if you further increase the period of the sign function it becomes like this so which is not doesn't look cool how about something like this also not good so yeah this is the way this is the way I like it okay okay so now let me apply this and we need to actually add this post process effect when I do the flashbang. So here, this is uh, flashbang blueprint. Select this and collapse all under uh, rendering features, post process materials here uh, let's make a post process material array make array wait one and as the object I'll use this MPP flashback now let's try if that appears dynamically Let me test it in the world. Right, it does appear. Then why don't I see that? To make it easier to test, let me disconnect this. <coughs> Keep a constant one value here and uh, ah, all right. Here, when we update this, we need to update, uh, we need to include the post process material as well. Otherwise, uh, that effect, yeah, that's why that effect is cancelled or removed instantly. We don't see it as the white fade survey. Now we see double, see. Sent it going away. All right. Uh, actually, the reason it's not going away is here. The length is five, and I am only using point five. So uh, then I'll make this also point six, maybe maximum. Six. Right now, let's draw. And you 
you see two images and it goes away great now uh, let's connect this again and see how it looks Hmm, I didn't really notice it. So, yeah, maybe just having a constant, uh, constant value would be better. But if we want to reduce the effect, we can use this max multiplier, but this value seems good enough and but the only the problem that i have noticed here is that uh, double effect suddenly vanishes it's not smoothly going away so how can we solve that see it just vanishes snaps mm, maybe here we can create dynamic material instance okay using the mpp flash band and let's promote this to a variable m pp flash band Then uh, oh wait, what happened here? Oh sorry, this should be connected like this. Oh, Otherwise, we can run into an issue. Right, now instead of giving this object, we can use this one. and here also I can use it all right and then let's define a parameter here to change the intensity of this double effect So basically control it promote parameter if uh, effect intensity so if it, this is zero then no effect if this is one we have the full effect right I'll leave it at 1 by default and here this value time value is changing from point 0 to 1 so can get the um, flash bank set parameter value set scalar parameter value and the parameter name is effect intensity p 
value is the time value minus one sorry one minus time value so to be safe i clamp this in between zero and one Great. Now it is smoothly uh, disabled instead of snappy. Let's try again. Okay. Right. And here I'm going to stop this episode. Let me show the effect one last time. So thanks for watching, as always project files will be available for the download in the patron page, link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of the patron club. See you in another episode, goodbye.